New technologies have been developed that will help farmers in their efforts to control glyphosate-resistant pigweed. Palmer amaranth, or pigweed as it's commonly known, continues to be a problem for farmers, infesting many fields. Resistance to Roundup technology began to surface on a large scale about four years ago. It can be controlled, but farmers are reverting to methods used before Roundup Ready products were introduced, incurring a much higher cost. Kind of at the end of our rope, we don't have a backup program anymore. Um, so we're throwing basically every tool we have at it right now. So the concern, of course, is further development of resistance um, to the tools that we're using to get by and manage this pest you know, currently. So obviously now that we're having to use burn down herbicides prior to planting, residual herbicides at planting, and then coming back with more post options, or we're having to switch to a new technology like Liberty Link, there's obviously an added cost to that. Bob Scott is a weed scientist with the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. He has several plots at the Newport Research Station where they're testing new technologies to control the invasive weed. Uh, one of those is Enlist Technology, which is available from Dow, or will soon be available, we think, from Dow Chemical Company. Um, this technology incorporates 2,4-D tolerance into soybeans and cotton. 2,4-D um, is a, a chemical that we've had around for a long time. I mean, our trials has been very effective at controlling pigweed. Uh, it is primarily a broadleaf herbicide, so while it may not totally replace Roundup, uh, when you stack that trait with Roundup, and you, then you've got two traits to go after weeds with. Monsanto is developing soybeans which will be tolerant to dicamba herbicides and could also be used in conjunction with glyphosate. These products are still under review by USDA and it could be a year or two before they're released. Malcolm Haywood has seen the results of the field trials on the Enlist technology and is encouraged. It did a really good job. Of course, the, the Enlist program is 2,4-D and glyphosate mix and uh, with the uh, Colex D technology, which is the technology that keeps it from drifting as bad as some of the 2,4-Ds that we've, we've known here in Arkansas. So uh, the, uh, the field trials look good. They had some side-by-side -side trials with cotton and grapes, some of the other susceptible crops. And, and it, was, it was held to minimum on drift and also the volatility of it. It's, it looked really well. I was impressed with it. Haywood utilizes a strict crop rotation with his corn, soybeans, and rice in an attempt to prevent pigweed development. But he, like many other farmers, is being forced to apply chemicals he hasn't used in 20 or 30 years. Uncontrolled, these weeds, we've seen uh, extremes where you would have as much as, uh, I would say, virtually 100% loss. But uh, at least in the 90s, you're gonna have a few beans there that survive, but you're gonna have some, it's gonna be detrimental to you if you don't control those pigweed. The Division of Agriculture is building data on the new products and will make use recommendations once they're released.